What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. We're doing it again. We've got another series that we're kicking off. This one's called The Bait Tank. We're gonna take your favorite soft plastic lures or maybe they're soft plastic baits you've never ever heard of or used before. We're gonna tie them up with different rigging styles. We're gonna put them in a tank and see what they look like underwater. Let's go. Here's one I'm really excited about, guys. Again, this is another OSP bait. This is called the Doe Live Shot. Oh, wow. Was not expecting that. This reminds me of a giant oversized TOD ticklers. Um, it is, it's a narrow bait. So, you know, if this is the bottom and this is the top, it's, it's taller than it is wide. Um, first thing that I'm thinking of is oversized Ned rig for smallies on the river. Uh, and then obviously a drop shot or even on the free rig. That is a really, really sweet color. It's like a green pumpkin with a little chartreuse and some black flake. Let's see what she, let's see how she dances in the water. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you guys, but there were definitely some standouts out there with this OSP Doe Live shot. So number one, uh, it's a heavily salted bait. You can tell by the way that it falls in the water. And I think it does best with a nose down application or a weightless application. Um, number one, it looks pretty good on a Ned rig. I really like these long tentacles that it's got and it actually looks like fins on, on a fish. Really, really like that. Drop shot. That drop shot leader was really, really short. I think if it was a longer leader and you let it fall and raise and fall and raise, 
right? I think that would look pretty cool. The free rig, I don't think it's a good idea to, ch to try the free rig in this tank because the water's so shallow. The purpose of the free rig, the weight hits, it falls, and then the bait glides down afterwards. So it's a little tough to tell. The Nico rig, this thing was fire on that Nico rig, uh, without a doubt. And then weightless. And then weightless, and then that backslide rig, guys. The way that this is designed, it glides really, really well. So if you rig it with the backslide rig, which is backwards Texas rigged, when you cast it out, if it hits the water in this trajectory, you know, if you you could skip it under, you could skip it under a dock or close to some brush piles, and it might glide a few feet back there. Uh, and then it's got that Nico action coming out, but. Pretty cool little bait. Really, really excited to give it a shot this season. I think it's going to do really well. Um, bottom applications. And I'm actually going to fish it like a fluke too, especially in the rivers for smallmouth, especially with that color. And let me know what you guys thought about this video. I'm really, really excited about this series and I'm looking forward to it. Um, we got a lot of plastic baits over there. There's new plastic baits coming out every single year. And if you guys have any ideas or any baits that you would like to see in the bait tank, please drop it down below. If you got some value out of this, please smash that thumbs up button. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click on that subscribe button too, because we're going to be doing a lot more of this. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave it down below. It's getting close to be big bass season. If you guys are interested in throwing big baits, uh, or if you're interested in getting into the swim bait game, I've got a great video right here that you need to watch. Check it out.